I got nothing funny about that one, but yeah, I think it's it's hopeful. <coughs> that's how the United States should have reacted to our economic downturn. Yeah. The um, you know, we have this stupid fucking history books. You can open them up and you can read about the Great Depression, and you can read about how they built things during the Great Depression, yeah. and it worked. Um, and you don't have to necessarily go to war with you in Japan and Germany. The recovery actually happened before that. And it was building things and hiring people yeah. to do work. And we know that, you know, we had a bridge collapse that killed a bunch of people. Was that in uh, Minneapolis? I forget. Remember, it was about five years ago, six, maybe a little longer. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. We haven't done anything to really boost. But we will. Know. We will after the next meltdown and the next bailout. And that's one thing that Obama did this past December is he signed the bill that uh, rolls back some of the uh, the, uh, the Dodd-Frank the regulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, basically rubber stamping the next bailout. And again, vote Republican because – you know, nothing's going to get better until it gets worse. And what better way to make it get worse? <laughs> right. And I'm telling you, because then, because that's what happened in Greece. Things got really, really bad. Oh, really bad. Yeah. And then uh, there was an uprising. So uh, that was more than a line, and it wasn't okay, that funny. Sorry. But uh, that's okay. Because right. uh, I didn't really have anything to offer to that either. Uh, o- Obama defends decision not to focus on Saudi Arabia's human rights record because they're our friends. Yeah. Um, we don't need friends like this. Uh, Apparently we, we do. Our corporations need friends like this. The average American does not need friends like this. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with the sentiment, I think, behind your statement. Yeah. Which is the fact that that's That wrong. we look the other way Absolutely. when it's a country that uh, is, uh, works to our best corporate interests. Yeah. And uh, – in but, that respect, he's no different than W and the other presidents that right. went over huggy kissy with, with him. Oh, and, and yeah, I guess. Well, he he went over there to yeah. pay his respects and whatnot. But um, yeah, they're horrible. Hey, but Michelle didn't wear a headscarf, and and that's making a yeah. statement, that, yeah. fashion what, statement, but a statement yeah. nonetheless. And that, I guess on Saudi TV didn't. they had to blur her out. They yeah. Had to, Yes, you know what's great is to see that Jews and Arabs can agree on something, because uh, the leaders, the leaders, uh, well, the uh, most conservative yeah. Jewish newspapers were blurring out. Well, they eliminated all of the female leaders in the march in in Paris. Right. Yeah. You know. Well, like, I wouldn't say that's most. That was one. no. That was one. That was one <laughs> hardcore group of of conserv. Uh, or that was most of the ones that Jim reads. Well, that was that's right. That's right. Well, no, I mean, I, I think uh, Saudi Arabia is an extremely conservative, uh, you know, a- Arab country. Whereas they probably showed the pictures of Michelle and, and the Turkey newspapers. What? Well, and it, I, I don't know. I'm sure someplace the in, the, in the, the Fox News uh, Republican echo chamber, this is bouncing around. But it just. The timing of Obama going to pay his respects to a dead Saudi king as juxtaposed against not going to Paris. And then, well, at least they admitted there, that was a mistake. Yeah. It, yeah. And, and, and there was, I think there was something else he did not attend where he sent one of his ambassadors recently as well. But anyway, so. Uh, nah, you can't, you know. You can't please all the yeah. Republicans all the time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. A Georgia, this is uh, Georgia executes uh, Warren Hill, intellectually disabled prisoner. So now they have to look for a new smartest man in Georgia. <laughs> I was going to say it's a shame because he probably would have made a great Republican congressman. <laughs> well, it's, uh, yeah. yeah, Texas is about to uh, to execute uh, a man who's mentally disabled, which is is quite a change for them uh, because usually they just elect him. So. <laughs> it's, uh, um, yeah, there, there's also uh, the issue on talking about this uh, death penalty with the Supreme Court where they've said we're going to hear a case of uh, these four or five prisoners who are on death row, whether it's cruel or and unusual, the, the, the way that they're going to be executed. But one of those guys, the Supreme Court had a chance to stay his execution and they said no, so he was executed. So they're going to hear his case. Normally they don't hear your case after you're dead because they feel there's no issue – to resolve because you're dead. Yeah. But in this case, he'll he'll get the comfort of knowing, you know what, you shouldn't have been executed that way. Is this um, is this in Oklahoma? Because uh, uh, I know Oklahoma, uh, the Supreme Court uh, recently stayed 
uh, this, executions in in Oklahoma because uh, they're they're having trouble getting the right drugs, and who among us hasn't had that problem? Yeah, uh, when you're uh, traveling to Oklahoma, uh, bring the yeah. drugs with you. Don't <laughs> yeah. try to get them when you're in there. Um, yeah, yeah I right. think that's one one reason that uh, Americans are so appalled by the beheadings in the Middle East because we're used to executions. Uh, you know, where they are dragged out for hours and hours. Right. And oh, we, he didn't suffer? suffer. He didn't yeah. suffer? Why, well, in America, we'd make yeah. him suffer. Well, um, it was instantaneous? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, let's see. Oh, uh, U.S. drone kills 12-year-old Yemen boy. And I think that speaks to the amazing accuracy well, of in, these in, drones. In fairness to the drone, he was a tall 12-year-old. <laughs> He shouldn't have been at that wedding party. He shouldn't have had yeah. such a full, <laughs> thick beard. Yeah. Um, uh, what else we got? Oh, uh, this Shiite uh, militia accused of executing 70 unarmed civilians, um, hopefully with American weapons. <laughs> I, think I think we've touched on that. Uh, yeah, but I had to buy we, some new uh, ammo. I, I hadn't heard this, but they it, it, it probably need to read more about it. But open uh, Obama to open Atlantic coast to offshore oil drilling. I, you know, uh, I I'm sort of on the fence about that because while I do tend to uh, vote more on the side of nature, uh, I you know. I, I don't go to the beach uh, in the yeah. South Atlantic, and a lot of those coastal states did not vote for Obama. So I, I think <laughs> this is kind of one of those, like, well, well, it's you're gonna really bad it. for the big picture. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's give these people exactly yeah. what they want. You know, let's I, let's ruin their their beaches. I like let's the way you're ruin thinking. their ocean yeah. view. That this is this is you know what they want. These are the yeah. the views of the candidates they tend to support. Fuck it. Give them exactly what they yeah. want and let them bitch about how bad it is because it happened under Obama. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I said if Romney was, doing, if Romney was Carolina, doing that, they, they'd be I have like. friends uh, who yeah. live in North Carolina. I have friends who yeah. live in Florida. I, th- I think it's a horrible thing. Uh, he, he This was a concession, though, uh, to stop drilling in the Arctic. Okay. This is sort of well, we we're not going to drill up there, but you guys Do can go down. drill okay. down there. Gotcha. Uh, so uh, well, again, yeah. well, well, I don't support it. Uh, I, I and it's it does have the potential to to fuck with a lot of people who are mostly innocent, who are, are pawns yeah. in the game. Um, you know, now that's that's a, that's a, a, that's an interesting point of view, and I, like my first thought, I, it makes sense that it was a concession because my first thought was, uh, oh, that's the black Reagan that I know. <laughs> that is, uh, that's yeah. well, he's he is moving to protect land in Alaska, and he's already been c- considered uh, treasonous for that, pretty much by the Alaska Republican Party, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. So even was it Murakowski, or the woman who was the senator? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, fun times, fun times. But this, uh, I don't know if this is a big deal or not. Police shoot teenage girl dead in Denver. Was this the uh, 16-year-old that... Uh... That's all I know. Oh, okay. I'm just reading a headline. Sure, I know sure. nothing about it. <laughs> well, I... I <laughs> except... Yeah, well, they, she, yeah. Was, she was extremely tall for a 16-year-old. Uh, right, and it was a drone they used. And her they, beard, yeah, yeah was um, Yeah, if it's the one I think of where she was shot at the police station... Um, there's a couple different ones, so maybe I'm, I think I might be mixing them up. But so I'm thinking because I haven't heard much about it that um, she's probably not she's probably not white. <laughs> um, actually, some well, of them. These some days. Of, well, one one is okay. So there's one that was shot that is white. So that's that's encouraging. And okay, yeah, she, now that's she, a big deal. And she was yeah. uh, mentally, you know, uh, had had some mental health issues. Um, and one cop. So was, you're saying she should have been doing the shooting, right? She should have been made a cop right away. And there you go. <laughs> no, but, uh, her her mother had died, and she had she had uh, she was bipolar. And one cop was seemed to be going back and forth, but had some control over her. And the other cop uh, shot her within five seconds. And uh, I think you know it. I've always been raised on the idea that the cops, you know, we have to have police with with guns. And I, I now reject that idea. Uh, clearly, if societies don't fall apart when the cops don't have guns, yeah, maybe these guys shouldn't have guns. We should have, we should have the SWAT team, which are now uh, busting into you know uh, grandma's house next door and stuff. 
they need to just be the guys that only do one thing, and that is they have the guns, not the semi-automatics, but or you know the the uh, AK forty sevens practically. But uh, yeah, send them to the door with a stack of copies of the Watchtower. I there think you that's go. enough uh, to yeah. scare anyone uh, there you the hell go. out of them. And if they but, and if the if the bad guy shoots at them, enough uh, watchtowers will stop a bullet. So and and I just want to say, uh, you know, we uh, the the three of us, I, I would say, are you know definitely among the top twenty percent of informed Americans. You know, oh, I don't know. Sure. Well, mostly, sure. you know, I can and, read. And for anyone who <laughs> who doesn't think that there's a, a problem. With, uh, with with well with guns and with cops shooting potentially innocent, likely unarmed people. Yeah. The fact that this whole portion of the conversation started wait which which police shooting of an innocent person are we talking yeah. about? The fact that there are so many that, uh, in, that, in, in, that yeah. it's it's become yeah. a, you know a, a yeah. non issue you know to now, to some people that three informed people. Don't know. Wait, which one? I, well, I think yeah. that in it, in and of itself, oh. is indicates that there there's a fucking problem. Yeah. First yeah. off, first off, in England, yeah, no, which is obviously point. a much smaller country, they know each time a cop fires a weapon, and so uh, we don't know anything about that. We only know uh, when they kill. We might those stats might make their way into the national databases, but they really don't even have a good database of police shootings. Um, that, it would be prejudicial. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, we did reach, <laughs> I believe, a recent milestone of finally, after uh, Sandy Hook, we got to a 100 school shootings. Oh, nice. yeah. 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 Let's check we the tote board. One they win, Chet. <laughs> it's like a yeah. telethon. Yeah. yeah. Let's check the tote board. How many Everyone, shootings have we yeah. had? Let's see those numbers. Crazy. Yep. 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 Okay, did you hear this? Surge in anti-Muslim threats linked to Clint Eastwood's American <laughs> Sniper film. Oh, that's weird. Um, I actually, I enjoyed the movie, yeah. and it did not make me want to kill any Muslims. Yeah. But I totally understand. You didn't want to kill them, but maybe some idle threats. Well. Anonymous. Yeah. Um, over the with phone. a squirt gun. With a squirt yeah. gun. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but I can see that. I can see that. I think it would be a great topic for Clint Eastwood's next film. Is the the anti how, how the ignorant yeah. uh, well, he folks did, he, respond he did do to movies flag, like this. Exactly. He did do Flag of My Father's and Iwo Jima. You know, maybe he could do something like that where we see the other side and see oh, the, there you go. See the Muslim uh uh Did you see the film? I did. You said you did and you enjoyed it? I did enjoy it as a cinematic experience and then I read about what a pathological liar the guy was, but Oh, okay. Because uh, uh like uh I I haven't seen it. Yeah, and uh, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I know when I saw Zero Dark Thirty, that I didn't really enjoy that film because I just seemed to me like they were sort of justifying and uh, torture. It seemed yeah, that, like to that be propaganda. Was, that was, to that me. was a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I feared that this would just be more. Uh, Although I do have to say, and you know, well, I haven't seen the movie yet either, so I don't know, you know, I can't speak to whether it serves as jingoist propaganda, as some are saying. I, I do think folks on the left need to back down a little bit before this becomes our Dan Quayle, Murphy Brown issue. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's a fucking movie. Yes, yeah. it's it's based on and it, one man's Clint Eastwood. autobiography. It's a uh, guy that talks to chairs right. and is a uh, hey, the well-known man, conservative. But he, so, did, he directed yeah. Bird, which is a, a great movie, you know, Forrest Whitaker back. Okay. It's yeah, I haven't seen it. But Charlie. Yeah. Oh, great! Yeah. Like amazing just, movie. Yeah. Uh, no, Clint Eastwood, I think, is a great artist. But I, you know, I think he, he, people the, the people Grand on the Torino? left who are getting upset about this movie, it's it's starting to ring a little hollow to me. Like when wow. when Dan Quayle and Republicans were all pissed off that Murphy Brown uh, yeah. had had a kid out of wedlock. Now, granted, the guy who's the subject of the movie. Not a fictional character, but everything right. I've been hearing about it is it is a and the movie more than the book. It's a slightly exaggerated, not quite fictionalized version of his story. But well, the very first thing I heard about this movie was uh, another comedian and uh, somebody who's extremely progressive. Their very first view on it was that it's a great film. So I'm like, oh, well, I got to give it a chance and I got to watch it. Well, and, and it, so yeah, I had my yeah. impression without. And I haven't read any reviews. I mean, I, I just yeah. – because my assumption is it would be propaganda. And then 
uh, just because of who made the film and the the subject matter. But then when when I 